Do you want more? More time, more balance, more love, more sex, more money, more real, and less bullshit? This is the Women Wanting More podcast with Dr. Karen Osborne. Real life, real stories, plus real tips to get you more of what you want. So there's magic, sister, in actually being who you are, who you be. What makes you you? And so what does that look like and how does that play out? Well, let's, let's first talk about what happens when we hold back who we are, when we numb, when we suppress it, when we hold back. It's something that was part of my life for a number of years. And if you've been listening to me on the podcast for a while, I might be like, you? You held back, Karen? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I had a lot of people come to me and say, Karen, like, oh, you're just too much, you're too intense, you're too... And I remember there was one particular friend of mine who's still a friend of mine today and appreciate this friend very much and, and trust them. And, and it was after that, I remember that conversation, just going like, huh, I guess I guess I should. This person does. Like, this is someone I trust. Other people are like, whatever. This is someone I really trust. Maybe I should pay attention to this. And so I did. And that was from about the age of 29 or 30 until, oh gosh, five years ago, I started just just to like, there's something inside of me I feel like I have to share. And the more that I became me, the more that I didn't hold back me, the more that I stopped trying to be what other people wanted me to be or how I thought I was supposed to be as Dr. Karen, the chiropractor, as Karen, the mom, as Karen, the wife, as Karen, a woman in her 40s, like the more that I stopped showing up as how I thought I was supposed to, and I just stopped holding back. I stopped the, the numbing and the suppressing is when the most amazing shifts have happened in my life, particularly over the last two to five years. And like fast forward the past two of those five. So what is it that holds us back? What holds you back, sister? Well, again, what I teach here on the podcast is what's been true for me in my life. And so what was true for me in my life and what's been true for my clients since I've been coaching in group and one-on-one and the new program called The Sisterhood was that I was not so much for me. Now, this might be true for you and it's been true for some of my clients. They're concerned with how others will think of them. Like they don't want to upset anyone. They don't want to piss anyone off. They want to make everybody happy. They want to please everybody. People pleaser, right? They don't want to be seen in a certain light. But more so for me, it was just like, well, if I really expose this, right? Because what I found from it was true for me in my 20s is that I came out as fully me. Now, the fully me back then in my early 20s, early to mid 20s was kind of like pissed off, angry Karen. A lot of bravado, still a lot of like stuff that I hid behind that armor of anger showed up as tough girl, but you know, it was really, it was, it was, it was, it was somewhat false because it was really just a shield for other stuff inside, which is like, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I'm scared. So I'm just going to mask it with anger and kind of try to overpower people. and like, fuck you. And somehow that'll be fine. And in that process, I shut a lot of people out. I didn't let a lot of people in. I said no to a lot of things. Oh, you should come out to this party. No, I don't think so. Like, I, I did not open myself up, up to people because I just got tired of being rejected. I got tired of people, you know, saying I was too much. I'm like, well, I guess it's just this is who I am. I'm caring the rebel. I'm caring that people don't understand. The story I ran for years was that people don't get me. My family, my friends, even people that were really close to me, just like, you guys don't, you don't get me. Nobody, nobody understands me. I am different. Ever thought that before, sister? There's nobody like me. So therefore, here I am, lone wolf. And so the moment that I said, huh, what if I'm wrong? What if I just simply showed people who I was and I'll let the chips fall as they will? Some will like me, some won't like me, but I'll tell you what, I wanna like me. I wanna love me. 
And so that means that I don't hold back anything of who I am. And so what began to happen in that process? Well, when I started blogging five years ago, and I did for about three years before I discovered podcasting, was that the more that I showed up as me and I showed more and more vulnerable, real, a lot of raw stuff, a lot of like, holy shit, when I went to hit that publish button, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, here we go. It was really, it was, it was things that I felt were important to get out. And it wasn't so much for me, although in that process of writing, and often was very therapeutic, it was cathartic to get those things out. But I knew from sharing that there was somebody else, if not just one person, that had something to see in the words that I was writing. There was something to see in the story that I was sharing that needed to come out. Good morning. morning. And that was correct. And I, I had so many women begin to follow me. And then with my first podcast, Mom at 41, and now with Women Wanting More. And it all began because I decided to show up as fully me. And it was a process. You know, I know for some of you reading this, you're like, oh my God, I can't do this. Like, I can't be who I am because of work or what's my husband gonna say, my kids gonna say. Like, you show up as you, however that is each day. And it can be a process. I have some women, I mean, I literally like two years ago said, you know what? I've been like opening up about stuff, but fuck it, the gloves are off. Like, let's go, let's go. Karen is showing up a thousand percent. And it feels fucking amazing. Some seagulls <laughs> giving me some feedback. Thank, thank you, seagulls. It's good timing. Like that was it. I was like, no more holding back. Fuck this numbing. Fuck this. I'm supposed to show up a certain way as a chiropractor. This is bullshit. Who says? And so when I started to do that, sister, what I found was that people actually connected with me more. Did some people not like what I have to say and how I showed up? Of course. I close friends that were just like, I'm like, why aren't you excited that I did this podcast? Oh, how's that little podcast thingy going for you, Karen? Fucking little podcast thingy. Do you know how much work is involved? Putting a podcast together, let alone doing content. Do you know what kind of balls that takes to go and do something like this? How was that little podcast thingy? See, here's something cool as well too. You're gonna discover who your real friends are when you begin to show up as you, because they're gonna love you as you are. And some are actually gonna love you more. And some you're gonna inspire more. And some you're going, who are going to support you more because you're showing up as you. And when you do the sister, here's the coolest fucking part. The coolest part. It just takes one person for one other human to hear to say, oh my God, she did that, I can do this too. She was real and honest. I can be real and honest too. It only takes one. It only takes one. I'm reading a book right now called, oh crap, it's called Invisible Influence. And uh, this is really what's been found in the research. See, we think it's going to take like a ton of people to influence us. It takes one. One. And that one could be you. And so with love, sister, who the fuck are you to hold back who you are that might be affecting another human right now? I did a recent podcast, which was called, What is the Cost of Your Inaction on Others? I did one even further back called, What is the Cost of Your Inaction? And I think we can understand and get real about, oh, so many hills where I live. So I'm walking back from, dropping off my oldest boy at school. We can understand how the, the cost is for us and we don't take action on the things that we want in our life. But sometimes we don't really realize how it's affecting other people. So in that same bent, sister, when you don't show up as who you fully are, it affects other people. And listen, I know for some of you hearing this message that you will do more things for others than you will yourself. And so if that message of like, man, if I don't show up as who I am, it's gonna impact other people. There's a domino effect then use that, right? If you are a very empathetic person, if you will do everything for everyone else and not for yourself, just know by doing for yourself, you are impacting others with this sister. And this is the magic that happens. These are the connections that I make with people in my life. This is, 
you know, I, I had one of the women in the sisterhood share something that happened with her recently with a complete stranger and a health crisis that she's gone through in her life and how that stranger was just so loving and kind to her. She's like, she doesn't even know me. I said, no, because, because you were real, because you showed up as you, because you didn't hold any shit back. Do you know how amazing those connections are in life? Do you know how fucking rare that they are, sister? People walk around like all posturing and pretending and fake. Motherfucking fake. So when you have the chance to show up, let me rephrase that. When you choose to show up fully as who you are, the connections you make with people will be every single day. The gifts that come out of that are plentiful. The lessons that you will learn, the ability you will have to influence and impact other people, to give them permission to show up and do the same by being themselves. Do you understand that if we all fully showed up as who we are, expressing our gifts and our talents with the world, this world would be different. And is that going to happen? Probably not. But it can happen in your world, sister. It's a choice. Let me be honest today. Let me tell the truth today. Let me show up as me today. And the suppressing and the numbing and the pretending stops. So here's your more tip for today then, sister. For the next 24 hours. Ever seen the, the movie with Jim Carrey? I think it was called Yes Man. Where he would, he would say no to everything. Like, no, don't do this, no, don't do this. So then, I can't remember what happened in the movie, but he, he no longer had the ability to say no. He, he had to say yes to everything. Now, I'm not saying don't say yes to the things that you don't want to do, but say yes to showing up as fully you, sister. Tell the truth. For the next 24 hours, be completely honest. And that can be varying degrees of honesty, right? You might be so numb and never talk about yourself and never share anything and never talk about what you want and what you need and how you're feeling that, you know, tearing that off will be like, like you can't do the Band-Aid thing, like the right off. So show up more as you. Tell the truth. Be honest for the next 24 hours. And here's what I want you to do is after this experience, I want you to email me and let me know what you've experienced with this. I want to hear from you, sister. Dr. Karen at drkarenosborn.com. Let's see who actually does this. Let's see who actually emails me. Show up as you, sister. It's time. It's time. This is exactly what I'm teaching inside an exciting new coaching program that I teach called The Sisterhood. This is the lowest tuition I've ever offered. It's literally less than half a Starbucks latte every single day. That's it. Minimal, minimal. To be able to get clear on what you want, get clear on why it matters, to be in a community of women who are like you. Yes, you want to be a woman, but other women who are like you. So you're influenced by the right people who are like-minded, who want some of the same things. You have access to me as a powerful coach. My coaching programs, my group and my one-on-one begin at 5,000 US. So to be able to access me for right now, the sister is $47 a month. You can actually, even better, you actually get to try it for free for the next seven days. No risk, no excuse, sister. And actually we'll start to learn, have an action plan of how to put what I'm teaching into practice. So you can take all these more tips and put them together and get significant shift and change. But the thing is that most of you won't do that. You need to be part of a powerful group to make this actually happen. So to be able to get your seven day free trial, once you head over to drkarenosman.com slash sisterhood. And if you're either already in the sisterhood or just like, well, this is cool, but what's next, right? What's next is when we want to more live. It is a one day event. We are actually today is now April the 10th as I record this. So we are 60 days away from it, June 10th. It's a Saturday, 2017, here in beautiful Victoria, BC. We're hearing the birds singing as I'm recording this podcast right now. And you'll be immersed in the process of what I've taken two and a half days from my last live events into one, into one around other women who are like you. 150 of you, to be exact, will be in that room. I see it. I know it. And the early bird pricing for that is just $77. Minimal. It's so cool because actually women that are got had the live event, they're already on the Facebook page I've got set aside for that. We're like, hey, let me get a roommate. And women already meeting. Like it's already starting, right? The process is already starting. 
We're going to spend an entire day going clear on what you want, why it matters, what's getting in the way, and leave with a plan. Leave with a plan. So, drkarenosrum.com slash sisterhood. Start the process now. Two months, and you're going to get the ticket today. drkarenosrum.com slash live, L-I-V-E. And there's still some early bird tickets at the $77. A day that will absolutely shift your life. I promise you that. Promise you that, sister. So I will talk to the next episode. A life of more is just one step away from you doing the fucking work every single day. I love and appreciate you. To get the show notes of each Women Wanting More episode, including the how to get more tip, subscribe to the newsletter at drkarenosburn.com slash newsletter. 